Hi, my name is Amar. In this video, I will talk about another flutter widget which is called as button bar. Now button bar is used to arrange the buttons horizontally and the buttons which are arranged horizontally will be end aligned as you can see in the output. Okay. Let me start from the beginning. Here you can see I have created the project. Inside the leaf folder, there is a main.dart file. In the main.dart file, there is a main method which is calling a runup method, which is calling the myapp widget. The myapp is extending the stateless widget. In the build, I have returned a material app having the title as button bar. The debug so check mode banner is false. I have used a dark theme. In the home, I have used a scaffold widget. And in the app bar of the scaffold, I have given the title as button bar. Now, in the body of the scaffold, I have used the button bar widget. And as a children of the button bar widget, I have used two raised buttons. For the first raised button, as a child, I have used a text widget having the text as button 1. And for the second raised button, I have given the text as button 2. Now, since these buttons are wrapped inside button bar, that's why these two buttons are arranged horizontally and these two buttons are end aligned okay now if the number of buttons don't fit in a single row then the buttons will be arranged vertically let me show you here i have few more raised buttons let me uncomment this if i save this now you can see the buttons not sit in a single row that's why it is arranged vertically okay now these buttons are end aligned but if you want to change the alignment of the button then we can use the alignment property here in the alignment i have used main axis alignment dot center if i save this then you will see the buttons are center aligned okay if you want to set the button height then we have this button height property if i save this then you will see the height of the buttons are increased if you want to increase or set the button height sorry width then we have button minimum width property here i have set the button minimum width as 100 if i save this then you can see the width of the button are increased now there is another property which is called as button padding this is used to specify the padding for the button okay now if it is null then by default a padding of 8 will be applied on the left and right remember this padding is applied to the button label here i have specified the padding from all sides and the value of the padding is 40 if i save this then you will see the padding has been applied to the button label okay now it has another property which is called as main axis size which is main axis size dot max now if you don't know what is the meaning of main axis size then you can refer my row or column video okay now it has another property which is called as overflow direction okay now here let me change it to down if the buttons are arranged vertically this means if the buttons don't fit in a single row then it will be arranged vertically right now if the buttons are arranged vertically and in the overflow direction if i am writing vertical direction dot down then the first action first action means the first button which we have which I have used here. The first button is button one. This is called as the first action. Okay. So if the vertical, if the overflow direction, I have written vertical direction dot down. This means the first action will be at top and the last action will be at bottom. So the first action is button one and last action is at button five. So if I save this, then you will see the first action is at top and the last action is at bottom. But if I change it to up, then you will see the first action is at bottom and the last action is at top. This means button one will be at bottom and button five will be at top. If I save this, then you will see button five is at top and button one is at bottom. Okay. Now, if you want to give a spacing to these buttons between the buttons, if we want to specify the spacing between the buttons if it is arranged vertically then we have a property which is called as overflow button spacing if i save this then you will see a spacing of 10 is applied between the buttons okay this is all about button bar i hope you have liked my video if you have liked my video please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching